Hello and welcome everyone, Ducky O'Brien here, and today I'll be going over the Despast game demo. Uh, Despast game was developed by Confa Games, it was published by Tiny Build, and it'll be releasing onto the PC sometime in 2021. And the price has yet to be announced, so it'll be coming soon. The game demo is out now, it's available for free if you want to check it out. Why don't we get into it? This game is kind of like a roguelike. It's also like those dungeon crawling games. If you played Darkest Dungeon, Deep Sky Derelicts, uh, games like that. So let's get into it. I'm going to start a new game. So here you have puny humans and you're going room after room. You're fighting monsters. You fight the boss and you go to the next floor. Uh, if you look here, you have their base stats here, their HP, the mana, their attack, attack speed, defense, and movement speed. Now, these stats are really bad, however, after most rooms, you can spend your credits, which is located right here in the upper left hand corner, uh, to buy items. Now you got different items, uh, this is the egghead, uh, this is the shooters tanks and then just a puny human so there's a lot of things going on i'm going to try to explain much of it as possible i'm not good at the game but a buddy of mine cam told me what the like really late end game builds are and he told me to get the egg heads and the throwers and to maximize the shop mutation first so let's go over it so up, up here you got the tokens uh, you get it after clearing each room, and then you use that to buy upgrades or more humans. Uh, these are the number of puny humans you have, this is the amount of food you have, so you have a meter down here that goes down as you move around in the level. Uh, this is the door right here, you can see the map here, you can press tab. You can teleport between rooms that have the border around it. Now, another tip from my buddy Cam was that you probably want to have at least twice as much food as the number of humans on your team. And once the meter is red, then you feed it. Feed them, sorry. Uh, when the hunger meter goes down, you get a penalty. You lose armor and uh, attack power. So, you know, you want to keep them fed. Now, this, this is a mutations. These are the mutations, sorry, proper grammar. Uh, so sale is a random item in every shop is 25% cheaper. So this is really good. I spent five credits, five tokens, sorry. And it shows up here. And then these are the type of units you have. So I'm gonna get an egghead real quick. You can take it and drag it on here. And now this guy is an egghead. If you look at his stats, uh, it's 150 HP, 50 mana, way more attack, it's a lot better. Now if you look here, you have an egghead icon. Now when you get three different types of egghead items, uh, you will unlock an ability. So to get those abilities, you have to get three different egghead items. You can't get the same item over and over again. So there's a lot of strateg strategizing with the shop in mind. You can re-roll, you can upgrade to increase the chance of certain items. So like if you see, if I upgrade, uh, I decrease the chance. I don't know what, what these items are uh, exactly. I believe the gray is what, tank? Yeah, we'll say it's tank. <laughs> and others go up. All right. So I want a fridge, man. Mm, I don't know what's good, so. We'll just equip him with whatever is cheap, and I'll upgrade it, and I'll get another pu puny human. Okay, and then we're gonna go. Now that means there's one big enemy here. Positioning matters, because um, whoever is in front is gonna take aggro. Another thing to note here, if you see this, this is the Sacrificial Pit. You take a human, you right click on it, and you'll fling him in there and you'll receive food in return. Uh, you only do this emergencies, but 
<laughs> let me tell you, sometimes you just don't have enough food, so. Okay, if you look at the minimap here, again, this is kind of like Darkest Dungeon, these sky derelicts, those type of games. I really don't know where to go, but either room I go to, I'll earn tokens. We'll just go down. Okay, it's one big dude. Probably want to keep my puny humans in the back. If you mouse over it, it, it says puny humans. It just, the game calls it that. Okay, we can, it's taking damage. Uh oh, that guy's gonna die real fast, yeah. Okay. Pretzel, we got a thrower. Alright, that's a thrower. Ooh, receive the bomb ability. Bomb.com. <laughs> Alright. Uh, is that the same item this guy has? How do you... Right here. Can I remove this? Hmm, I guess not. The boss is here. I guess we could try doing that. There are like random events too. Hopefully I'll be able to show one off. I'm not sure if I'm gonna survive, but we'll, we'll try our best here. And let's put the tankiest guys up front. Put the weaker people in the back a little bit. Oh, I see I have so much HP. All right. Oh, this guy lights people on fire. Rest in pepperonis. I don't have any medics. Oh, they're doing work though. Okay. Now you can keep exploring if you want, or we can go in. Make a cute sound. <laughs> All right, so Wheel of Fortune, humans come across a holographic spying skeleton. Spin the wheel, it says. Every time I spun the wheel, uh, it made the humans, the puny humans, the regular ones, just run away. But they did say it was a benefit. What happens if you don't? Okay, nothing. All right. Oh, we have another thrower. Okay, got this guy. No medic though. Well, whatever. Oof, these are regular zombies. We're gonna get overrun. I might actually die here. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, we wiped them. Wow. Okay. Yeah. But how many humans do we have? Six, twelve. Food. We're good. By one, alright. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'll run over. Rest in pepperoni spider. Hey. I kind of need people though. Oh, that's really expensive to heal someone. Um, it might be just cheaper to buy some temporary cannon fodder right now. Ah, uh, I, I want that though. <laughs> okay. On sale for one. You don't want to- oh, okay. If you have too many humans though, like you end up using too much food. So you, you should watch out for that. It's the one downside. Oh wait. Ah, oh, whatever fight. Okay. It's in the red. Um. I want money. 
Again, I don't really don't know how to play this game, but I will eat food. Okay, that went well. All right, we can get some medics finally. All right. I don't know if they're good or not, but I want them. Okay. Oh, uh, let me see what this event is. Ah, uh, it's this one. Okay. <clears throat> this one's kind of funny. So, uh, what's happening here <laughs> is that this guy wants his batteries power, so he's making this person run on a treadmill and is using a zombie to scare them. So he wants the T-Virus, the T-Virus which makes zombies, so he can have another zombie make this guy scared and keep running. So, basically if you complete this, uh, what you can do, you'll lose one person, they'll turn into a zombie, you give them that zombie, and he'll, you can pick between secret knowledge or 30 coins, and the secret knowledge is basically a mutation. Okay, um... Oh, we, we have to go down all the way there. Oh, well. Do need food, but... Oh, uh oh. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't think we're gonna we're gonna lose some people, I think. They heal, but they do run out of mana, so right, let's see. Three rerolls too? Really? Let's try it. Mm, let's try one more time. Ooh. Oh, splash damage. Sounds really good. Do I have shooters? We'll try that. We're low on food. <laughs> Yellow, we're going in. Oh, I guess I can go back, but hmm. Shall we go here, buy the food? Go down there and show the event off? Is it worth it? My gut says keep pushing forward. Yeah, we're gonna keep going forward. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I don't want them all together. Nope. Oh, that guy's as good as dead. Nope. Sometimes I misclick. Oh no, it's the monkey. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Winding corridor suddenly splits you out into a cozy bar. The barman tidies his hipster man bun and speaks. It's been a while since we had a customer. It's been even longer while we since had what well, since we had decent ingredients? Hmm. <clears throat> Don't question it. <laughs> Did we lose someone? Okay. Uh, well, another thrower. Hmm. 
We already have a pretzel though. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. Alright. All right, coin upgrade. Okay. Mm. We'll sacrifice you for food. Okay. Anyone close to dying? Hmm. That sounds sounds that sounds yell, so why not just grab this? Huh, okay, let's reroll one more time. Yeah, I guess I'll use this, whatever. with this I guess Ooh, it's getting tougher all right we do need food Okay, let's keep going. Hmm. Oh, I should have gone that way. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well. Putting the guys with the move, most HP and the front lines. We're gonna feed them, and then now we fight. Mm, I don't know if he made this one. Okay. Barely survived. He died. Rest in peace. Okay. We'll sacrifice you. <laughs> you have served the cause. It's kind of cheap, so I'll put that. Hmm, that looks pretty good. I'm trying to get eggheads and throwers, but I'm not. Oh, there's an egghead, yeah. What is this? Panzer poo? I'll take that, sounds good. Okay, we should save some money for food. Yeah. This is the beginning. What am I doing? Ah, oh, I'm just wasting food now. Oh man. Okay. Up. Let's see. Oh god. All right. I try to kind of make them attack one dude at a time if possible. But I need to spread out the aggro. Okay. Ah, the last one. 
About to read. Uh, read. Lose Albert, the direct. Kai, oh, you got this, Albert. You got this. Oh, barely survived. <laughs> okay. You have served us well, Albert, but I'm afraid it's time for you to go, my friend. I guess we can keep him and he'll die the next round, you know? We got two egg heads. Mm, Dark Mantle is not bad, but let's roll again. Ooh, turret. Why, yes, please. Oh, no, I don't have enough money. What am I doing? <laughs> ah. Foolish me. What was I doing? Okay. Well, I guess we'll just go to the boss. Mm. Oh, this is the formation limit? Weird. Okay, let's go, guys. Poo Panzer, you got this. Just straight up eating my medic. No! <laughs> Guys, what are you doing? Ah, uh, you have no control over this, by the way. It's just automatic. Oh, he saved him. Just... Guys, though, seriously, let me down. <laughs> Why'd you run up and feed yourself? Okay, Untitled Goose event. Okay, Untitled Goose game. Impossible, incredible, unbelievable. A great goose grab. 10 tokens from humans and bolted away. We'll try catching it. Oh no, we lost the person, but we got the coins back and we have food. Hmm. Worth? Not really. Alright. We got three egg heads. Okay, we lost unlocked an ability. Okay. You know, that's not bad. Let's get that one too. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Guy with the most HP should be like in the middle. Okay, let's see how. Oh man. Oh, guys, getting wrecked. I feel like me medics aren't worth it. There's a lot of stress. Why aren't you dying? Oh god, we lost so many. <laughs> oh man, okay. Well, uh, we have enough food. Uh, we're pretty much dead though, so... I regret everything. This is how it ends. Mmm, okay. Alright. We'll go back. There's a lot of depth to this game. Like, you can synergize with classes. You want to, you know, build a certain combination of classes. Like, like my friend told me, throwers with egg heads. 
Uh, I kind of like having tanks in the front. I like having healers in the back, and then whenever it is cheapest, I'll I'll build towards. Seem to do fairly well. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. The game is Despot's game. The demo is out now on Steam. It was developed by Confa Games, published by Tiny Build. It'll be coming out soon. And I don't have the pricing info. But there you have it. Hopefully give you guys an idea what the game is like. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there. And catch you guys next time.